Today, we're going to be forging a sword out of a bar of 1084 high carbon steel. At this point, we are forging out the tang. When you're doing this, remember to keep even strikes on both sides. You can do this by counting. After the rough forging is done, we move on to profile grinding the tang to give it a nice shape. Now that that grinding's done, we move on to cutting out the desired length. For this sword, I'm going for a 29 inch blade. Before forging the tip, I decided to profile grind the taper. By the base of the blade, closest to the tang it's two inches, and at the tip itself is one and a half. The tip is now being forged. The tip has now been roughed out, and we're going to go ahead and profile grind it to a nice point. Now that the forging is complete, we're moving on to hardening the blade. The canola oil we are using to harden the blade is being heated with the train spike. For hardening, we flipped our small propane forge vertically on a stand. We're using a pulley system to evenly heat the blade throughout the forge. The blade has now reached critical temperature and is ready to quench. We're now going to temper the blade at 500 degrees for an hour. If your blade warped after hardening, here's a method on how to straighten it out. You do this after you've tempered already, so you'll need to keep this set up and then temper it again. After tempering is done and any warps are taken care of, you're ready to move on to the hilt and all the finishing touches. We're going to go ahead and end the video now. Look out for part two.